Under the surface of the ocean, a terrifying truth lurks. Sharks are not always the apex predators we've assumed. For decades, we've painted a picture of these apex predators as the undisputed rulers of their domain. But a recent discovery has shattered this illusion, revealing a previously unknown level of predation in the deep blue. Why are these apex predators turning on each other? Imagine the terrifying scene, a pregnant poor beagle shark, a formidable creature in its own right, being devoured by a larger predator. This isn't a figment of our imaginations. It's a chilling reality brought to light by groundbreaking research. As we peel back the layers of these ancient oceans, we're witnessing a side of marine life that's both fascinating and terrifying. The discovery came to light during an investigation into the mysterious death of a pregnant poor beagle shark in the waters southwest of Bermuda. Researchers, initially focused on studying shark migration patterns, stumbled upon evidence that pointed to a larger shark as the predator responsible for the poor beagle's demise. This event marked the first documented case of a large shark being hunted by another shark. Historically, large sharks like the great white and short fin mako have been considered apex predators, dominating their marine environments without fear of being hunted. However, advancements in tracking technology have begun to reveal a more complex reality. Data from satellite tags has shown that these formidable predators are not only hunting smaller marine animals, but also turning on each other in the open ocean. The poor beagle shark, a powerful species found in the Atlantic, South Pacific Ocean and Mediterranean, was once believed to be safe from predation by other sharks. However, the recent findings suggest that even these robust creatures, growing up to 3.7 meters in length, are not immune to becoming prey in the ever-competitive ocean ecosystem. For 158 days, researchers tracked the poor beagle shark's movements, a seemingly ordinary dance through the deep blue. But then, a sudden, terrifying plunge. The shark's tag data revealed a relentless descent, a silent scream into the abyss. The consistent temperature readings during this time suggested only one chilling possibility. She had been devoured by a larger predator. This shark's tragic fate is not an isolated incident. Cannibalism, while often associated with humans, is a behavior observed across the animal kingdom. From the depths of the ocean to the sun-drenched jungles of the tropics, cannibalism has been observed across a wide range of animal species. Wolves, often romanticized as loyal and social animals, can also exhibit darker sides. While typically known for their cooperative pack dynamics, wolves have been documented engaging in cannibalism, particularly during times of stress or scarcity. One example is food scarcity. When prey is limited, wolves may resort to desperate measures to survive. Cannibalism can be a last resort to ensure the survival of the pack, especially in harsh environments or during extreme winters. Pack conflicts can also be a trigger. Internal conflicts within a wolf pack can also lead to cannibalistic behavior. Dominance hierarchies and territorial disputes can escalate into violence, sometimes resulting in the death and consumption of pack members. And lastly, infanticide. In some cases, wolves may kill and consume their own pups, particularly if the mother is unable to provide adequate care or if the pack is facing resource constraints. Snakes, often seen as cold-blooded predators, have also been observed engaging in cannibalistic behavior. While not as common as in other animals, cannibalism among snakes can occur under certain circumstances. Incubation. Cannibalism is often a culprit. Some snake species, such as pythons and boas, have been known to eat their own eggs or hatchlings. This behavior is thought to be a way of conserving energy and resources, especially in harsh environments. Sibling rivalry. In species with live births, newborn snakes may compete for resources and territory. In some cases, this competition can escalate into cannibalism, with one sibling consuming the other. Chimpanzees are highly social animals with complex social structures. However, even within their own communities, Conflicts can arise, leading to violence and, in some cases, cannibalism. 
Here are some reasons why chimpanzees might resort to cannibalism. Territorial disputes. Conflicts over territory can escalate into violence, sometimes resulting in the death and consumption of rival individuals. Resource competition. Competition for food, water, or other resources can also lead to aggression and cannibalism. Infanticide. In some cases, dominant males may kill and consume infants from rival groups to reduce competition for resources and strengthen their own position within the hierarchy. Cannibalism among chimpanzees is a complex issue with both biological and social implications. It highlights the darker side of primate behavior and the brutal realities of the natural world. Cannibalism is often driven by the instinct to survive. When resources are scarce or competition is fierce, animals may resort to desperate measures, including consuming their own kind. This behavior is not necessarily a sign of pathology, but rather a reflection of the harsh realities of the natural world. The discovery of cannibalistic sharks highlights the complex and often brutal nature of the ocean ecosystem. While it may be unsettling to learn about these dark practices, it is essential to understand the factors that drive such behavior. By studying these instances of cannibalism, scientists can gain valuable insights into the delicate balance of marine ecosystems and the challenges faced by these magnificent creatures. As investigators delved deeper into the mystery of shark cannibalism, two prime suspects emerged from the depths of the ocean, the great white shark and the short fin marco. Both are large, endothermic predators known to inhabit the area and are capable of preying on mature poor beagles. While the short fin mako typically exhibits rapid oscillatory dives during the day, the data suggested that the great white shark, known for its diverse diet that includes marine mammals and other sharks, was the more likely predator. This discovery of shark-on-shark -shark predation introduces new questions about the interactions between large marine predators. If such predation is more common than previously believed, it could have significant implications for marine ecosystems, potentially altering the balance of species and impacting the populations of these already vulnerable sharks. Brooke Anderson, the lead author of the study, emphasized the importance of further research. We often think of large sharks as being apex predators, but with technological advancements, we have started to discover that large predator interactions could be even more complex than previously thought. We need to continue studying predator interactions to estimate how often large sharks hunt each other. This will help us uncover what cascading impacts these interactions could have on the ecosystem. As researchers delve deeper into this new understanding of marine predator dynamics, the ocean's depths continue to reveal more of its hidden and often unsettling secrets, challenging long-held beliefs about the natural order beneath the waves. As we continue to uncover the mysteries of the deep, what do you think about the idea of large sharks hunting each other? Could this change the way we view the ocean's top predators? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and join the conversation. And if you want to stay up to date with all our latest discoveries, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. That way, you'll be the first to know when we release new content.